margin of safety. The margin of safety is the difference between the amount of expected profitability and the break-even point. There are two main applications when defining the margin of safety, budgeting and investing. In budgeting and break-even analysis, the margin of safety is the difference between a company's estimated sales and its break-even point. The break-even point is the point that sales can decrease to before the company becomes unprofitable. It is generally good to have a high margin of safety because a low margin of safety may cause a business to cut expenses while a high margin ensures that a company is protected from changes in sales volume. Meanwhile, in investing, margin of safety is the difference between the intrinsic value of a stock against its market price. Intrinsic value is the worth of a company's assets or the present value of an asset when adding up the total discounted future generated income. Keep in mind that determining the intrinsic value of a security is highly subjective because each investor has a different approach to valuation. Let's take a closer look at the margin of safety formula. In accounting, the margin of safety is calculated by taking the actual or budgeted sales, subtracting the break-even point amount, and then dividing by sales. It is expressed as a percentage. The formula can also be shown in dollar amounts or number of sales units with the following two formulas. Margin of safety in dollars is equal to current sales minus break-even sales. Margin of safety in units is equal to current sales units minus the break-even point of sales units. Let's look at an example of calculating margin of safety. Ford Company purchased a new piece of machinery. The machine's costs will increase the operating expenses to 1 million per year and the sales output will also change. The company has fixed costs of 3.015 million. After the machine was purchased, the company achieved a sales revenue of 4.2 million. In our example, the company has a sales of 4.2 million and a variable expenses of 1 million and fixed expenses of 3.015 million. We need to start by calculating the contribution margin, which is sales minus variable expenses divided by sales again. The contribution margin is equal to 76.19%. Then we need to find the break even point. To find the break even point, we divide fixed expenses by the contribution margin to reach $3,957,188. Finally, to calculate the margin of safety, we take sales, subtract the break-even point, and divide by sales again to reach a margin of safety of 5.8%. Now we know how to calculate margin of safety, but why is it important? The margin of safety sends signals to analysts about a company's financial position. A high margin of safety indicates good business performance and the ability to handle sales volatility. Conversely, a low margin of safety shows that the company is not in a good position and it should try to increase sales volume, selling price, or cut expenses to improve the contribution margin. Finally, for investors and analysts, the margin of safety acts as a cushion against errors in calculation by protecting investors from poor decisions and downturns in the market. We hope this video helped you gain a better understanding of margin of safety.